A week ago, I asked the community what they'd like to see next over in a community post. And surprisingly, a lot of you decided a treetop village should be on next creative build. And with today being May the 4th, what better inspiration than building an Ewok tree village? Let's find the perfect spot. Of course, with Sons of the Forest, we've got plenty of options to choose from. I mean, we could pick over there or over there or well anywhere however with ewoks being quite tribal i thought we should probably feature a tribal camp nearby and after a little bit of searching i came across this spot this particular spot is located up towards the northern beach but unfortunately there are a lot of trees here and we're going to want to remove a few of them just so that we can build up the way it looks having less trees means that you're going to be able to see more of the tree houses themselves so i'm afraid some are gonna have to go first i want to clear the trees that are near the camp and we're going to want to clear some of the foliage from behind and so we've gone from this to something a little more like this. Now we are going to be using a couple of tree shelters for this just to make it feel more like a village. And then we're going to do a couple of larger tree houses, which will take the same approach that we did for this build, which you can find in the top right hand corner now. Or alternatively, if you're a patron, you do have access to this creative build save so that you can run around it yourself. I think we should start off by marking the trees that we want that will have these little treetop um, like houses in. I'm a little bit concerned that these are, we're not able to go further up with them. I'd, I'd like them to be higher up in the tree. And here we are. Uh, I would like to add some windows to the build at the back there, which is the different type of platform. But we're now going to get started on the big builds. Um, there are two in particular that we're going to want. So we're going to start off with this big one. Thankfully, we've got plenty of trees around here. So we will start placing our basic logs all the way around the outside. And then we're going to lift these up. These are going to be the supports for the build itself. So we're certainly making progress, but it suddenly occurred to me that it would be quite nice to have at least one section that is connected and well structured with the floor that is like a tower up and then connects to the other structures. So currently we're doing a staircase all the way up. At this point we have our first tower. Um, that's getting us to the right height. The only thing is I do want to have it so that it comes outwards a little bit which means we're going to have to do a load of supports all the way up on the outside here and then add the supports that we need before. Oh, I can't place that there. Hmm, hopefully we can work around that. And then we're going to have to add some diagonal beams on the top layer in order to build outwards a little bit more so it doesn't look so straight. At this point, we're finally on the top section. So we'll be able to start adding the supports next, providing we don't fall down again. And from there, we can build outwards only just one block, but that should be enough to change the overall feel of this build from just a straight up tower. So we'll start with this section. We're just going to go around every single support here and then we'll start removing all of the lower um, sections. But hopefully this will look quite good once it's uh, all removed. Oh, I've just finished removing the scaffolding. You can see the top sections just poking out. So we'll build up there in a moment. But for the time being, I'm just adding a little platform on the bottom section. Perhaps this is storage for the colony or, or something. So the next thing to do from here is to put some barriers along the inside, also cover some of the walls up and then connect rope bridges to various other parts. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to shear off the branches here and I'm worried that the only way I can do it is maybe with a chainsaw, but I don't want to risk removing this tree. Fantastic. And there's the second one. Great. But I think it's really important that we have a fair bit of variety in this build. We don't want it all looking the same. 
I love the idea of this little apartment with the shelves um, for storage and then a little window and um, bed. But unfortunately, what I hadn't considered is that there's going to be a stairwell going all the way up. Uh, so we weren't able to add any more. We've had to add just little window slits in. And then when we get to the penultimate floor, we have this border, this little fencing all around, which is going to allow us to look out, but also to have another walkway to the big build over there. So there'll be two little walkways across. So what I'm going to do up here now is to have a roof over the top of this and walls around it. So this will be the, the top of the watchtower and then we'll get started on the next build over there. I think for this build, we're going to have to make sure that the top section is two floors high. Otherwise it's going to look a bit squished on the top which we do not want. I just wish we could get rid of all this foliage without tearing down the whole tree. I must admit, though there's some logs floating on top of the roof at the moment that I need to sort out, I'm pretty happy with this being a big tower, uh, but I think it's really important that we have some kind of um, heavier structure which everything branches out to. Same with the next one that we're going to do. And then we'll add loads of smaller builds around the uh, the area. We need to have a drawbridge, not a drawbridge, a rope bridge across to here. Just realized it's actually this level that we need to be on. Um, but we will also have another one a little bit further up, I think. By the way, guys, do let me know what you'd like to see in the next creative build. I'm thinking about trying to do, we've done a, like a Roman style fort, but I think doing a proper keep and castle will be quite cool. Maybe even try and do a, a fantasy style build that looks a lot more over the top. So at this point, I'm working on the next big tree. I actually need to chop down a few more trees, but I've realized that we, though we're stuck to this grid that it gives us, if we remove these and maybe build away from the, the tree that we've currently got going here. I think we'll be able to... Oh, it won't even let us place anything now. I've broken it. This time I've managed to do it. You can see we placed our first pieces and moved them away. And now this is going to be a bit of a test more than anything. We can place this one wherever we want. Um, let's push it out this way. I'm gonna be the first one to say that it looks cool. And I think this is something we can certainly play around with at a later date, but I don't want to do it today. So we're going to take one of those sets back and we're going to just build from a simple square. As you can see, I have finally finished the scaffolding on the bigger build. I say that, but they're actually about the same height. So what we're going to be doing at this point is doing the top section. We're going to do the roof and then we're going to start removing the supports underneath. So it's just being supported by the tree itself. And so we're going to go about and we're going to support each of the pillars going outwards as we possibly can should be all of these. And then afterwards, we're going to do the pillars underneath. And now we're removing all of these pillars and you can see it's working pretty well. So I tried removing the supports and that didn't really go as planned. So I think <laughs> we may have to keep at least some of the supports in for this. So I'm working on the roof at the moment, but we're having a little bit of difficulty trying to locate the snapping points. Taking a step back, I'm liking how this is coming along, but we do need to clear out some more of those trees. I'm going to do that now. We have to be really careful though, and not to get the, the trees to land on the builds, because if so, uh, we're going to have some breakages. Unfortunately, we couldn't reach from that little treehouse there up to here. It was too far away. So we built another basic treehouse a little bit further away behind everything. And this is going to be taking us across to the main treehouse area as well. And we're going to do another one. I think we need to get rid of this tree as well over to them. You can see that the build has progressed substantially. We've added a few more smaller 
um, huts and we also have some much larger sections which are able to run around. I'd love to play with different materials but unfortunately we don't have access to them now. And this kind of leaves me one last thing to do having got all of these up and running which is to go about and start adding some just little bits of detail here and there. But I like how we're tying this all together with the, the cannibal camp. Just feels a much more lived in, even if it is in a creative world. I've just thought of something that could be really cool, such as adding a little step up to there. Grab this, place this down. So I'm thinking the screenshot will be over here, which is why I keep returning to this area. But this, can we? Ooh, we can. And we run that all the way up there. Yes, okay, I'm happy with this. Place this all the way to the top. I think we do need some kind of border around the entrance just to make it look like it's an intentional entrance. I was considering adding a little palisade wall around the outside, but I think it's not really needed at this stage. And here we are with the build complete. I'm actually really happy with this. We've uh, added some torches here. We have the armor stand up there, or the mannequin, I can't remember what they call it now. It's viewable, but it's not as prominent as I'd like it to be. I'd rather be able to trim back the trees. But I love how we've integrated the little uh, cannibal camp alongside all of this. I could do with clearing up some of the, the floor because there's a lot of logs, but they'll disappear upon my next restart. And you can see that we can quite easily get from one side of the build to the other, thanks to all of these um, bridges across. We haven't done anything on the inside. I'd like to do something, but I just, there's nothing really that appeals to me at the moment in terms of the decoration. I'd love them to add more. And then there's also another little apartment just down there, as well as a few more individual oh we, we've got a virginia she's finally moved in it's taken the whole build for her to arrive here but guys let me know if you were a, an ewok would you live in this little forest village let me know what you'd like to see in the next creative build in the comments below and of course special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters most notably our solo clips patrons james owen fireflesh and treble as well as our lunas the calamity ben star shoku the yemen wolf and that dude aw as well as our blood moon of the day which today is dashlom until next time as always ciao for now